Well, that's my idea of the patriarchy, which is a, a system of male dominance of society. Yeah, but that's not my sense of the patriarchy. So what's, what's yours? Well, in what sense is our society male-dominated? Uh, the fact that the vast majority of wealth is owned by men, the vast majority of capital and is owned by men. Women do more unpaid it's a very, labor. Very tiny proportion of men, and a huge proportion of people who are seriously disaffected are men. Most people in prison are men. Most people who are uh, on the street are men. Most victims of violent crime are men. Most people who commit suicide are men. Uh, most men. Most people who die in wars are men. People who do worse in school are men. It's like. Where's the dominance here, precisely? What you're doing is you're taking a tiny substrata of hyper-successful men and using that to represent the entire structure of, the, of Western society. There's nothing about that that's vaguely appropriate. And I could say equally well that most rape victims are women. You know, terrible things happen to people of both sexes. And you could say that with, with, with perfect utility, but that doesn't provide any evidence for the existence of a male-dominated patriarchy. Well, there it are, just means that terrible things happen to both genders, which they certainly do. But there are almost no women who rape men, for example. So that is an asymmetry there in sexual violence. Well, yes, there's an, as there's an asymmetry in all sorts of places, but that doesn't mean that Western culture is a male-dominated patriarchy. The fact that there are asymmetries has nothing to do with your basic argument. No, but you might... This, equally... is, this is a trope that people just accept. Western society is a male-dominated patriarchy. It's like, no, it's not. That's not true. And, and even if it... Even if it has a patriarchal structure to some degree, the, uh, the fundamental basis of that structure is not power, it's competence. That's why our society works. It's only when a, when a structure degenerates into tyranny that the fundamental relationships between people become dependent on power. It's not power. If you hire a plumber who's likely to be male, it's not because there's roving bands of tyrannical plumbers forcing you to make that choice. And it's the case with almost every interaction that you have at the face of our culture. You're dealing with people who are offering a service of one form or another, who are usually part of the broad middle class, and who offer, and what you're looking for is the person who can offer the best service, and you can find it. It's not a consequence of being dominated by anything that's tyrannical. And, and then again, our culture, our Western culture, um, which is by no means perfect, and certainly has tyrannical elements like all cultures do, is the least tyrannical society that's ever been produced, and certainly the least tyrannical society that exists now. This whole patriarchy thing, I think you have no idea how pernicious and dangerous it is. Well, no, you I know, don't. Men I really and women don't. Throughout history, have fundamentally cooperated to push back against the absolute catastrophe of existence a terrible death rate, the, the probability of chronic starvation, early death, disease the difficulty of raising children, with all the death that was associated with that, and to look backwards in time and say, well, basically what happened was men took the upper hand and persecuted women in this tyrannical patriarchy. It's an absolutely dreadful misreading of history. It's a terrible thing to teach young women, and it's a horrible thing to inflict upon men.